Tracker 2 forecast. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Up with Krem. Thanks for sticking here with us on the uh, on Krem 2, where we're taking a look outside up at Schweitzer Mountain at the start of our morning. You can see the moon is kind of lighting the mountains back there, and uh, we're expected to wake up to sunny skies yet again. The conditions around the northwest have been beautiful. That is why I am out on my balcony today. I'm being a little quiet because I want to be considerate to the neighbors that I have, but uh, what we are going to be doing is watching that sunrise this morning, which is expected in about 45 minutes or so and it's going to be gorgeous. So we're out here today. We're expecting some of the warmest temperatures of 2020 so far. Take a look at your almanac for this morning where the forecast high is 70 degrees. That is about 20 degrees in some cases, 15 to 20 degrees above average for this time of year. Average will only be about 56 degrees. So notice that it does not really come toward that record of 79. However, it is at least a very warm day around the northwest with an abundance of sunshine expected. Temperatures right now outside are most Mostly in the 40s, we've got 43 in Spokane and Pullman, 39 in Moses Lake, and 32 in Sandpoint. One thing to keep in mind is that this cold front does come through tonight into tomorrow. It's going to affect our weather pattern dramatically and change uh, what's brought us uh, an abundance of sunshine and uh, warm temperatures. We're going to cool down tremendously and see some showers and wind roll in. So let's watch that wind gust forecast where you can see things begin to pick up by the time we get to about 10 p.m. tonight. And uh, that mainly is affecting the Okanagan County area as those Okanagan Highlands Boy, they're going to be hit pretty hard with gusts in the 30 to 40 mile per hour range. It looks like most of eastern Washington will be spared and only see uh, gusts in about the 20 to 30 mile per hour range. So it still be, will be a wind, uh, windy uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but it doesn't look like things will be all that dramatic for eastern Washington as opposed to about central Washington, which will be hit the hardest, especially north central Washington. On Future Tracker, a few showers do remain as we head into your Friday night and Saturday. That's going to be thanks to that cold front, but for the day today. Don't expect any showers coming our way. This is Saturday at 5 a.m. We see some showers pop up. Uh, it looks like those will affect the Spokane area toward about your Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening. And then things clear up just in time for Sunday, your Easter Sunday. Basically, that means the only days to expect any wet weather are going to be mainly overnight tonight into tomorrow. And then things clear up for your Sunday and things are clear and dry and abundance of sunshine for the forecast today. Here are your high temperatures, mostly 70s. Look at Richland, though, 81 this afternoon. Moses Lake making it to 77. Spokane, 70 degrees, 66 in Coeur d'Alene and 64 in Libby, Montana. That 70 forecast shows that we are going to cool down tremendously thanks to that cold front, but boy, we're going to warm up from there. We've got a gradual warming trend into most of next week with dry conditions expected, so we'll gradually make our way back up to the mid-60s as we head into about the middle of next week, but uh, still some chilly mornings to come for your Saturday and Sunday. That means your Easter morning, an overnight low of about 25 degrees, so bundle up if you're going to be outside. Again, we're going to be out here all morning long watching that sunrise. We'll head to a quick break and be right back with more Up With Krem after this.